Here is my 2012 Yamaha V-Star 950. It's got about 13,500 miles on it. Around 13,000 miles, I started having a problem. I thought it was the battery. When I went to start it, it would go, wah, wah, wah. This, I had replaced the battery about a year ago, so I had my doubts. But I went ahead and replaced the battery. I'll show you which one shortly, a very high-end one. And that worked pretty good for a couple weeks, having a fresh battery in. But then I realized it was the starter. So I replaced the starter right there. And I'll show you the basics of replacing the starter. Here's the tools. I'll get to that in a minute. So here's another angle on the starter right there. And the exhaust is hot right now, so I'm gonna watch out. But to replace the starter, it's only got two Allen head screws holding it in that one and that one down there five millimeters and then the main wire coming in you just pull this hard plastic thing there's a 10 millimeter back there so to remove the starter I had a five millimeter one of these and I went in from this angle here. It's hard to get to it with this, but let's see, maybe from this angle here. Yeah, right there. Then I, I took this guy here down below. There you go. I broke that one loose, and then I actually couldn't get this tool in here very good to turn it, which I didn't have to. Because although I did not have a five millimeter one of these, I have a 3 16th. And I was able to get it on there once it was broke good enough. You can see it's almost on there now, but I, I was able to get it on, get that off. And then I got it in there. You can see the 3 16 a little loose. Once those two are out, then I took a screwdriver and went in back here. So as I pulled on that earpiece right here, I also took the screwdriver and twisted it in here to, because there's a rubber thing in there. I'll show you in a minute on the old one. And it came out real easy. And then it came out at an angle that way there, which is between here where my finger is. Then I was e able to get the 10 millimeter onto this nut and get it off at an angle and then just reverse the process to get it back in now i will show you and that's a 10 millimeter socket for that wire oh and that wire is not live the only time it's live is when the ignition key is on and only when you're pushing the starter button so you don't have to worry about touching anything with it Okay, so here's the battery that I replaced. I bought an identical one of these, very expensive. I paid $200 for it. Right there. That's the positive side, negative side. You can see the price on that right there. I got it for 200 plus tax. And then, so here's the old starter and inside right there is a magnet
Well, <clears throat> these magnets, as you can see, these were broke. I've never seen that before. But they went in and they would have been spaced evenly around it. I think five, I'm pretty sure. Here's the armature, I cleaned it up. I'll just show you what it looks like. And that's the end right here that would start the motorcycle. And so this goes in that way. And then these two bolts would go through that and that. And then they would go into there and there. Here's what this looks like. Those are the brushes right by my finger. That's one of them. There's four. And there's that 10 millimeter. So that was the problem, was the magnets were all busted up. So I put the brand new one in. I got off of eBay. It's a... Oh, this is, here it is right here, the part number. It's a genuine Yamaha part. They wanted $200 or best offer. I offered $150. And uh, I researched out the other ones on there that were not OEM, original equipment manufacturer. They were aftermarkets. I read too many bad reviews. I didn't want to take a gamble. Who knows? Maybe you can get one of those for 80 bucks and it'll be fine i don't know but i read too many people complaining about it didn't work properly so i just uh sprung and got this one here and uh, i'm 100 percent happy i got it so there you have it starts up perfect in fact i'll let you hear it Here goes. Okay, thank you.